Hey, it's Les from the TV Dudes. This week, I was lucky enough to chat with actor Jacques Chevelle. He stars as Jagged in the new Nickelodeon comedy series Side Hustle, airing now. The show follows two inseparable teenage girls who must find a way to make money after an incident leads to the destruction of a boat that belongs to Jagged's dad. We talk about how Jacques found his love for acting, how he brought his own experiences to the role, and more. It's a fun interview, and I hope you enjoy. so much for making time today i really appreciate hello it. yeah thank you for having me uh so i've i've gotten to watch a little bit of side hustle which there's something about i think disney channel does this really well too but nickelodeon shows uh i i, I grew up in the golden age of, of snick and saturday night nick and stuff um mm-hmm. and and there's something like classic sitcom I, if you if you want to see yeah if you want to see the old school jokes it's not it's not like vaudeville but if you want to see what structurally works in sitcoms done at just mm-hmm. t- these just seem to do it in a classic sense for me uh, can you talk a little bit about uh the audition and then the the vibe on the set of, of making side hustle yes uh i i totally agree with that um i was i, I was watching the episode last night and i was like oh my god this sur- it, it's still very surreal for me because i'm like oh my god i'm part of these are like the shows like Victoria's all that um, uh, um, Amanda show. Like they all have this like night that feel uh, to it. And I'm just in awe that I'm a part, I'm, I get a chance to be a part of it. But the audition process was um, very, uh, it was, I, I, when I got the, the, the breakdown, I was like, Oh man, I know this character. Um, I like, I, I, I get who he is. I went in to with Jamie and Krisha and they were like, uh, Jamie was like, Oh yeah, I thought of you when I uh, saw this role. And I was like, I was like, yeah, like, I feel like I got, I got this role. And I had been in the office quite a couple of times and I was like, and they were still trying to fill me out. And I was like, Oh yeah, this one, I, I think I got. And then long behold, I ended up going to producers and testing and I, I booked it. And um, it's it's great. The set is amazing. Uh, the people, the cast are great. The crew are great. The writers are amazing. Um, it's uh, Nickelodeon is really good at uh, making a community and uh, making us feel comfortable on set and and um, they have a nice uh, vibe going on. Uh, on, on the Paramount lot. And we're like at stage 19, which is right where the Hollywood sign is, which is really dope as well. That's cool. That's really cool. Yeah. So uh, you grew up in Atlanta, is that right? I grew up in Atlanta, ATL, yes. Uh, so can you can you talk a little bit about uh, what got you into theater or when you knew uh, this, is a, this is what I've got to do? Uh, when I, I got into... I got into theater, uh, like I did like Shakespeare plays. I did, I think it was the first one was like comedy of errors and, um, it was in high school and, um, I was like, I was really into that, but like what really got me into like film and just like acting, I was, I watched Queen Latifah (laughs) do set it off in last holiday. And I was just like, I don't know what it was about it. I don't know what she communicated through me through her performances, but like in that moment, I was like, Oh yeah, this is what I want to do. I want to do what she just did. Like I want to be able to communicate, uh, 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 like care, different characters from the same area, but like different, like different, uh, different people, like different people, but from the same area, It, it, it was, it was, it was inspiring and it got me uh, interested in acting. 
something that jumped out at me about uh, side hustle is like it's kind of how much your character and some of the other characters uh the jokes feel dependent on y'all's differences say uh say the way you play mm -hmm. against munchie or uh the way right. you're trying to bond with tedward uh, the way the uh i'm blanking on the neighbor father uh is, is trying to bond with tedward as well uh alan yeah, alan, yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. uh can you talk a little bit about um things you do as an actor or or, or things you felt worked to uh, for instance, to get you and Isaiah on the same page, uh, or to, to make sure that you're playing, it, everybody's on the same tone. Yeah, um, the writing is again. The writers are really good, and you kind of like you know how like just like music has like a beat to it, a tempo. Like like the writers are really good at getting us in the uh, beat of things. Uh, like it, it, it feels right when you like it. It feels like when a line reading, when you do a line reading, it just feels right, and you just know it's right in the moment. It's kind of a little bit of instinct and just um, depending on the uh, the flow of the of the script. But um, yeah, I get I, I I pull a lot from my relationship with my brother, so I get to play with that and use that with Munchie and um, yeah. With, uh, with Isaiah, I was going to ask if if you were if you were getting to pull from from some real sibling stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. I pull a lot from my, my older brother. We we play a lot of uh, of chicken. I don't know, like we we just see who's going back down first uh, in in different situations, and I get a chance to uh, to play with that and pull from that. You've uh, you've done a few musicals. Uh, Shrek the musical, Into the Woods. Uh, wedding mm -hmm. singer can you talk a little bit about uh what's what's different for you about uh doing a musical versus doing a uh, i don't know what the term would be i'm sorry for non-musical theater theater oh uh, like a play yeah. yes yeah if you're, right, if you're yeah, just, yeah. Uh, but but is there, oh, is there man, something as an actor more, that brings it's it a lot out less different? <laughs> It's a lot less magic. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's not. No, I, 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 no. <laughs> so plays are its own piece and musicals are its own piece. But like, uh, it's something about being in the wings of a musical and just seeing and hearing people perform. I mean, you plays, you have a lot more freedom of how things land as for the character mm. with a musical, the character is kind of baked into the music. So like that's, I would say that I would say that would be like the biggest difference. Yeah. I, on the one hand, I, I musicals are further from reality by just, you know, my friends don't break into song, uh, particularly not songs where the, where the lyrics actually track what we're doing. Um, mm -hmm. But at the same time, musicals can uh, feel truer emotionally sometimes, or, or really get mm, to the heart of yes, something yes, like a big feeling. Yes. Uh, mm -hmm. And I and I feel yeah. like uh, similarly, there's there's something about uh, sometimes sillier sitcoms or uh, or sillier television or sitcoms or or, or comedy where uh, where yeah, you know maybe it doesn't go as deep as as The Wire is going to go into some character problems mm -hmm. or whatever, but, right. yeah, but yeah. It, it, uh -huh. yeah. it can often get to a family dynamic that, that catches me off mm -hmm. guard and, and hits me in the fields. It's something that uh, I think I've always enjoyed about the, the particular set of, of shows that end up uh, uh, being kind of aimed at that teen audience. Uh, yeah. Is there... it, it's something that resonates. It's, it's something that resonates with, it's just like watching, um, I mean, my friends were talking about like sister, sister, like, like Tia and Tamara's like the heart of like having a, a sibling relationship is there and you feel it instantly and you just relate to it on a human, like human, anybody who has like a, a older sibling or a sibling at all, like they, like they know that. And they like, they're like, Oh, that resonates with me so much. They enjoy watching it. And it's just, it, 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 yeah, it, I agree. It is something like deeply baked in there. Like that's really beautiful. Yeah. I, uh, the, the Fresh Prince reunion that just happened, uh, kind of made me think along that same lines of, of how much this family dynamic meant to me. 
but yet how goofy the you know the whole premise of the show was was fun and over the top uh and it also struck me when i started watching uh side hustle uh not that you and munchie's uh dynamic is is carlton to uh will exactly but it's got that same polarity of it's got that yeah of screw up son to suck up uh you know wants to wants to impress his dad uh because yeah your your entrance in that first episode is hysterical uh (laughs) vice principal of crossing (laughs) cards um Got some, got some Rain Wilson kind of. I'm the assistant to the regional manager. Oh yes, yes, exactly, Rain. Yeah, I love that. Yeah, I also pull a lot from Rain. <laughs> he, he definitely does. Uh, does, does, does. He definitely pulled a lot from, um, from him. I, I, I try, I try to make that come across uh, as, as, as much as I can. But Rain is, is freaking amazing. <laughs> Have Great you? Uh... I mean, without you know, without spoiling anything, just uh, not not that the show's <laughs> huge M Night Shyamalan twist or anything. But uh, do you uh-huh. have a do you have a favorite sure, moment sure. Uh, that that you're excited for folks to see uh, that you've got coming up? Oh yes, episode six. Oh my god, that the writers really it's it's uh it's a um you get to see you get to see Jagged a lot in that one. And like, just like who he has, who he is as a person. Um, it really, you really get to figure out in that episode. So yeah, episode six is, 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 uh, is one to look out for. Very cool. I'm excited to see it. Well, thank you so much for talking to me about it today. I, I really appreciate it. Uh, everybody can go check out thank Side you, Hustle now you. on Nickelodeon or a variety of streaming services that you can also buy it on. Really, really appreciate it, and have a great rest of your day. Appreciate it. Thank you. You as well. You as well. TV Dudes is an independently run podcast out of Austin, Texas. We are exclusively listener supported. If you'd like to help us out, go to patreon.com slash TV Dudes. You can also find us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at TV Dudes. All the music for our show is done by our friend and original TV dude, Gregory J. Amani Smith. To find out more about us, go to the TV Dudes.com. I'm Randy Lander. I'm Les Weiler. And I'm Kyle Scott. Thanks for listening.